It's an ambitious goal. Add nearly 13,000 units of housing to Tulsa over the next decade. How do you do that? How do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? Today, city officials released four key strategies to move in that direction, including convert underutilized downtown buildings into housing, like what's happened at the Adams. Yeah, so over the past couple of years, we've really seen a lot of traction and progress in taking some of the vacant and underutilized office buildings downtown and transitioning those into housing. The city also wants to create staff positions dedicated to greenlighting housing projects more quickly. Yeah, so really helping them go through the permitting process. If they run into any issues, they can be a resource to help them navigate those processes that are so critical to getting things up and out of the ground. I love that they're taking the initiative, putting a plan in place. Paul Wheeler of Accent Realtors, happy to see the city taking action as he keeps a close watch on the pulse of the housing industry in T-Town. Values of homes have gone up in the last handful of years about 35 percent. Rents have gone up at about 25 percent. So everything here in, Tulsa? here in Tulsa, no kidding. With values and rents going up, so too does the challenge of helping the homeless find affordable housing. Part of the city's strategy is to establish a program that prioritizes affordable housing projects. We're not the only city in the country that's dealing with this issue. In fact, every city in the U.S. is really facing this housing challenge. The plan for housing in T-Town, with a bird's eye view of how it's all interrelated. Housing is the economic driver for um, stability. 